no i don't kiss i don't kiss <laughs> hey guys welcome or welcome back to the channel today we are heading back to the thrift store i have been so excited to share this haul with you i have had most of these items for several weeks now let's head to the thrift store and we'll meet right back here and i'll share with you all these beautiful finds as usual, I check out the colors of the day for 50% off tags because of course we want to snag as many deals as we can. And doing it a little bit different, I'm heading upstairs first. The second floor of this location is all furniture and art and there were some amazing pieces. Look at this one guys. This was $100 and he was so beautiful. I didn't get it. I don't think I have the right part for it. So I left that for someone else. But look at how much art in this area. If you can spend the time sifting through piece by piece, there are some nice Nuggets amounts the sea of frames in here This wall is right behind that section I just showed you. It's next to the bedroom furniture. Everything here is buy one, get one free. I always spend about 30 to 45 minutes going through these items. This is an authentic vintage frame for only $2.99. I headed back downstairs and got started with the home decor items. At this time, I was finishing up my back patio makeover, so I was keeping my eyes peeled for things like planters and outdoor decor. Going to the thrift store is really not a place that you can just go with a list and check off what you're looking for. Everything is random, so you gotta go as often as you can because things are changing every single day. And I believe on any day that you go, you can find things that you love, that you enjoy. I could be wrong, but does this look like a hippo to you guys? I found quite a few of them. I was wondering if someone donated their collection of hippos. They were in every kind of material. I'm always attracted to these little wooden carved out toys. I think they are awesome for doing like a kid's room or a play area. It will definitely give that special touch. I was really excited when I saw this set of frames, but I was quickly very disappointed. The quality was not good at all. It was very lightweight, very cheap, so I left them behind. Then I found this bag of curtain hardware. I remember this from back in the day. Actually, I had so many ideas of how I can upcycle this for different things. I had it in my cart for the duration of this shopping trip, but I eventually did put it back.
If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Trisha and on this channel I share thrifting and shopping adventures, DIY projects, furniture flips and room makeovers. Welcome to the channel. And you know I will always gravitate towards the section with all the brass items. This here guys was my regret of this trip. You know I always tell you when I am editing these videos I see items and wonder why I left it. Those wall sconces were gorgeous. Not sure why I left it. And being fair to myself sometimes I leave items because of the price. Like this little pot $30 that is way overpriced. Do know that I left that because of the price. And this little one here was only five dollars not sure why i left that i can see that with a little plant in it looking gorgeous as ever <laughs> A few months ago, I shared some coffee table books that I picked up at the thrift store. I got four of them, I think, in total. They were all French artists. One of them, his name was Corot. I had not known of any of these artists before finding those books, but of course I got familiar with his names. I found these two landscape pieces of art, and they're both from that particular artist. One of them is signed uh, his name is signed on the bottom and that's what I recognized when I saw the name I remembered the book so I couldn't wait to get home and skim through the book to see if I could find these landscapes you can tell they've been around for a while they are like slightly discolored which I love that look it just shows the age of the actual painting they are mounted on like a piece of wood and then that's set on this matting both frames are not in great shape they have a lot of scratches all around them that's really part of the age of it which makes it interesting i think i like the frame for these particular pieces of art i like the simplicity of it i'm going to leave it in these frames and probably probably repair it or probably leave it as is but they're both beautiful landscapes i also got this amazing piece of art this is an original painting and everything about this is beautiful the colors are beautiful the frame is gorgeous there's some parts that are more textured or more raised than other parts the colors are very vibrant and i just love the scenery and love the trees and the water the frame is gorgeous these are two picture frames i picked it up in that section buy one get the other one free this one was 4.99 this one was 2.99 so of course I had to pay the $4.99 to get that one for free, but I like them both. This one is for a tabletop, so it doesn't have anything to hang it. It is metal, and it's finished in this sort of a bronze metallic color. It's an oval shape, and I thought it was so pretty. This would be great with, of course, a picture in it on a tabletop. And then I also got this one is definitely vintage. You can tell from the back just the way it's constructed. It's wood all the way through, and it has this pattern on the front. It has the brass color on the inside and the top here with a lot of black on the inside part of the frame. I thought it was really pretty. In my last thrift haul, I shared with you guys some really, really beautiful pottery. I have been finding quite a bit of them. This one was made in Portugal. This is a bowl. I love that it looks like it was just pressed in. Also has these two little lips on the side. This is a great size for putting a little bit of greenery in there or even using it for like serving stuff like in the kitchen. I particularly like pottery for 
putting little plants and greenery and decorating with it. I paid $5 for this and I just love the colors of it. I love the size of it. I think it's perfect for like the coffee table. I love having some sort of greenery or florals on my coffee table and little items like this is perfect for that. I also got this one paid six dollars for this at the goodwill and as you guys know i don't really find much things at the goodwill but here and there i'll find an item and i'm able to share with you i love the colors of this and i also love the size of it and again this is great for florals and greenery the colors were very similar like the inside of this and the outside of this is very, very similar. Kind of like what happened on that last thrift haul with the bowl and, and the little jar that I found all at separate times, but they just worked really well together. And that kind of happened with these two as well. I also got this ashtray for $1.99. It says Wolf Ridge Pottery. It's a simple little ashtray, but the bottom is so pretty. When I saw this, I had different ideas for it. I mean, it can be used as an ashtray, but it can also be used this way as a bit of a riser. So if you want to put like a little plant on it, or a candle or something. I think it's pretty this way as well. I thought for $1.99, I like the versatility of it and I thought it was cute. I also got this one. This is also an ashtray, but it looks like a flower. I love the colors in it. Of course it has green, so of course I would love it, but it has green, it has blue. I paid $3.99. And again, this is one of those items. I don't know if it's an ashtray. Well, I guess it does have these little slots right here, but I can see this with a candle in, in it as well. I also got this little milk glass candle holder. This end can hold a tapered candle. So I think it can be used this way, but it's also pretty this way as well. So it depends on what you wanna put in it. I think it could be used either way. But again, this looks like a really versatile piece that can be used for so many different things. I also got this tray. This is definitely something that has been around. Look at the back of it. It just looks like it has so much history. And the way it's mounted, that's how you can tell if something is vintage or antique. They use these nails to put it together. And of course the paper is all coming off, but I love this. This is a like a stitching on the inside here. It's actual fabric with like needlework or some sort of stitching design on the fabric. And it's behind this glass and in this wooden frame with these handles and it's a really nice size if you look at it like this it's probably about maybe 14 inches wide i love the the dark wooden color and of course the pattern on the inside there these little trays are so convenient to have for you know corralling different decor items on a coffee table or you know, console or just anywhere. I, I like using a tray to really pull items together. $2.99, I also got this pair of pillowcases. They are standard pillow sizes. I just thought they were so cute. They're 100% cotton. I find myself lately being attracted to unique pillowcases. I think this is such a great way to dress your bed and just make it look unique. Adding something a little bit different rather than everything being matchy-matchy. It's in great condition, no stains or anything. I did get a similar pair some months ago that I used when I did my guest bedroom office makeover and I'll probably use this in there just to interchange but this I thought it was so cute. I also got this tree. It's actually wood painted with like an aged look to it. I don't know what this was originally used for but I liked the shape of it. I'm working on a particular project right now and I think that this would work for that. I think that this is a great great um, addition. I paid $6.50 which you know I was okay with at that price because I like the size of it and I like the shape of it. It does remind me of that tray that I got at Home Goods when I was doing that back patio makeover. It's very similar to that one but again I'll probably not use this as is. It'll go into that project and you guys will see that soon. I picked up all three of these wooden ducks. 
I just love these. The eyes look so real. It is amazing. They do have some little scratches. I thought these were really unique. I love that they were all in different positions. This one was sitting. This one is just laying there and this one is standing. I think together they're really, really beautiful. So nicely made. It's solid wood. Hey, Smino. Smino, you want to say hi? You want to say hi again to everyone? Come, come here. Here's Smino, guys. You remember Smino? When I was doing the back patio makeover, he showed up. You, you know I don't kiss. I don't kiss. <laughs> say hi to everyone. Say hi to everyone. He's adorable. Like I said, this is the quietest dog ever. I always find things that I think would make a nice base for a side table and I always find things like this that would make a nice top for a side table. So I tend to pick them up and when I find a good match, I put them together. Look at all the detailing on this piece of wood. It does need some refinishing but not difficult to do and some protection on there. But I think this would make a great tabletop. I like the size of this because I think that I can have something decorative on top like a little plant or something and still have space to you know use it for drinks. And it's a great size to be able to be useful but still have something decorative on top of it. Here's a pair of vintage brass candle holders with the little finger loop. I got them both for $12.99. I had gotten some of these before, but they were much smaller. This one is a bit oversized. It's about five inches wide total. I also got this beautiful lantern candle holder. This is so gorgeous. I have had this on my shelf for a couple of weeks now. Look at the patina on this. This one is a little bit chunkier. The top, this glass part is like a little bit fatter, just like these, like way more chunkier, more of a substantial piece than the ones that I've had in the past. It's made in India and it says solid brass underneath. Look at these little guys, how gorgeous. <laughs> Of course, it's brass and they are two reindeers, one with his head down, one with his head up. It was great that I found them both together because sometimes the thrift store splits these pieces up and you find them in all different areas of the store, but they were together. So I was lucky to find them together, but they are so adorable. They are a little bit textured and it has some black in the creases of that brass. They're gorgeous. I think they're cute enough to use any time of year, but I guess this would be considered more a Christmas item. And I save my favorite piece for last. This is a solid brass pot or vase. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not really that tall. This is about maybe six or seven inches. It's a pretty substantial piece, but I just love the shape of it. And these little scallops on the top here. This is really, really pretty. Made in Italy, uh, 1983. As simple as it is, I think this can be outstanding depending on what you put in it. I love the patina on it. Very nice dark patina color and this is great for decorating. And that's it for today guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed and that this inspires you to go thrifting, look for items that you enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and let me know in the comments which items were your favorite and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!